Hello everyone and welcome to the first video in my 3DS retrospective series. A series where we are going to be taking a look back at some fondly and sometimes not so fondly remembered games on the iconic Nintendo 3DS. And in today's video, that game is going to be Animal Crossing New Leaf. I went ahead and started a new save file in this game for the first time since it came out all the way back in 2012, believe it or not. It's been over 10 years since this game came out. And before I talk about that, we need to have a little story time here. So I'm gonna take you back to 2011, specifically June 2011, when Nintendo had their big E3 conference where they not only announced the Wii U, but they also had this huge chunk of their hour-long presentation that was specifically made to show off all of the big 3DS games that they have coming out. And I'm gonna talk about this more in future videos, but this little, like, two minute long part of the presentation with this awesome 3D stage setup that they had going on, this this changed my life. There were so many cool games that were announced here. They, they showed Mario Kart for the 3DS, Mario 3D Land, Luigi's Mansion 2, oh my god, I screamed when they showed this game, but we're not talking about that today. That is gonna get its own video, of course. Today we're here to focus on Animal Crossing New Leaf, which funnily enough wasn't even featured in this part of the presentation. Um, it actually got its own trailer just uploaded directly to YouTube later. Um, and I was really confused because I remembered, I thought I remembered seeing it during the presentation, but I guess I was wrong because I rewatched the presentation for this video and it wasn't there. So let's first talk about this trailer. So when I first saw this, I was just kind of like, oh, Animal Crossing. I didn't really know what Animal Crossing was. I had never played an Animal Crossing game before. Back at this time, I was about 14 or 15 years old, and me and Animal Crossing, we, we had just never really crossed paths. But I saw this trailer, and it got to this part right here where it showed a character, and they were changing their clothes, and then all of a sudden they were dressed up as Link from Legend of Zelda. And I was just getting into the Zelda series around this time, and I was... Basically, I was obsessed with Zelda at this time. I, I had played Ocarina of Time, Wind Waker, Skyward Sword was coming out. I was hyped for that. I, w I was just at my peak for being obsessed with Zelda at this time. So I saw that part of the trailer, and I was just like, hmm, this, this Animal Crossing game looks pretty interesting. It's got a little Zelda reference in it. That's cool. Fast forward a couple weeks later, and I get a text from my cousin. Uh, and she's not really super into video games, but she had a GameCube growing up, much like myself. And she texted me, and she was like, hey, Sammy, I was getting rid of some stuff that I just had laying around my room for a long time. And uh, she's like, yeah, you know, I, I know you're still into this stuff. Um, I've got a few GameCube games. Do you want me to stop by and you can have them? And I was like, oh yeah, sure. I'll, I'll see what they are. She didn't tell me what they were. So she comes over, hands me the games, and I'm like, oh, Mario Sunshine, I have this one already. Or I think there's a Harry Potter game in there. I was like, oh, cool. And then the, the third one was the original Animal Crossing for the GameCube. And I was like, oh, Animal Crossing, I've been wanting to try this actually. So I'm, I'm so excited, I go and I pop it in into the GameCube and at first I was kind of like, oh, it's just like a, a life sim kind of game. Okay, that's cool, that's cool. I wasn't really hooked on it yet. And then, you know, I did my little daily activities. I was kind of like figuring things out, you know, going to the shop and stuff. And and then I, I played the next day and I was like, oh, okay, there's, there's new things going on. You know, I can, oh, I can buy a fishing rod now. Oh, cool. I can catch fish. I can make more money. I turn it off. And then I go back the third day and there's, oh, there's new items in the store. Okay. And, I, and now I'm starting to see the appeal of it. And, and it's just got its hooks in me. Right. So basically, you know, this was all during June, right after E3 happened. E3 was always every June. So this was in June and I had summer vacation basically from that point up until, you know, mid August. And my sister and I, cause I showed her the game, of course, I was like, I think my sister would like this. This seems like a you know, a good kind of game for, for every type of gamer out there. And so basically my sister and I got super addicted to it. She's, she moved into the village, had her own house and everything. And from there, we, we literally played the game every day. We took turns. She, I, I was usually awake before her, so I would play. And then, uh, you know, I'd turn it off and then she'd come downstairs and, and she would play for basically the whole day. I think she played it more than I did, but we were obsessed with Animal Crossing. And now fast forward a whole year later to the summer of 2012 and 
and the wait is over, it's finally time to get our hands on Animal Crossing New Leaf. And at this time too, my sister had just gotten her 3DS, so we were both really excited for this game. And that, that was one thing that was really cool about Animal Crossing New Leaf and, and the, just the series in general is my sister and I really bonded over this game. You know, we I always kind of tried to get her into the things that I liked, but Animal Crossing was one of those games where like, we both loved it equally as much and we would play it together and that was always such a great memory. Oh, and one thing I have to mention actually, if, if my memory serves me right, I believe it was the summer of 2012 when Animal Crossing New Leaf was coming out. My good friend Jacob, who I know watches my videos, so shout out to Jacob, he's a great guy very cool dude. He let me borrow his copy of Animal Crossing Wild World for the DS, which I had never played before, and because that was always his favorite, he let me borrow it just to kind of get that Animal Crossing handheld experience, because he was like, I want you to experience what Animal Crossing was like on the original DS before you play the new one, and obviously I I loved it. I was like, I, I was kind of hesitant to get too into it though, because he let me borrow it like just a couple weeks before New Leaf was coming out. So I was like, okay, this is awesome, but I don't want to get too into this one because I want to like save my strength for the new one. Cause I was so excited for that. And you know, my friends and I, we were all going to be playing that. And yeah, I played that game. I played Animal Crossing New Leaf so much. It is to this day, the most played game on my 3DS. The 3DS I'm using in this video is actually not my original 3DS um, that has all my save data on it. <laughs> this is a modded 3DS that I have that I put Animal Crossing New Leaf on so I could start a new file because I just did not want to erase my original town and I did want to start fresh for this video. And I guess, you know, we're this far into the video, but the big question is, yeah, does it still hold up today? Of course it does. It, of course it does. If anything, going back and just playing this one for the first time again in years, because I haven't touched it in a long time, I probably haven't touched it since, like, before New Horizons came out, because even, like, into the Switch's lifespan, I was still going back and playing Animal Crossing New Leaf all the time. But yes, of course, this game holds up. If anything, I think this Animal Crossing game is better than New Horizons for a few reasons. Um, and I'll get into those in a second. This Animal Crossing game had a lot of firsts for the series, and in a way, it, w it was really different than the three games that came before it. The big thing here in New Leaf is you start the game and you find out that you're mistaken for the mayor of the town when you arrive there. And this kind of saying it out loud just kind of sounds weird. It sounds like nothing, just like a funny joke or something. But because you're the mayor of this town, you, for the first time, have kind of more control over the town. Like you can do things like set ordinances where you can either make your uh, villagers morning people or make them stay up later, depending on like what time of the day you like to play the game, you can have the shops open earlier or have them open later, um, which is perfect for, you know, people who work and go to school and stuff if they're, you know, playing more later in the day. You can also set an ordinance to have the villagers keep the town clean and pick any weeds when you're away, which this is always what I had my town set to because, of course, I would take long breaks from this game like most people do with Animal Crossing, and one of the worst things in Animal Crossing is when you leave the town for a long time or don't play the game for a long time and then you come back and your town is just full of weeds and it, it's just so sad to see and then you have to pick them all and the villagers are upset with you and it's just a bad time but in this game this was the first time you could set this ordinance to have the town kind of be taken care of while you're away and villagers will water the flowers and stuff so you won't come back to a bunch of dead flowers and i really liked this about this game and the other thing you could do is have uh, public works projects where you can have things be built around your town like you can have like bridges built and and all kinds of cute little decorations and stuff and it's really cool and then they carried this into New Horizons and um, that's one really cool thing that this game introduced to the series. But some of the points where I think Animal Crossing New Leaf is a lot better than New Horizons on the Switch is that, well, it feels like Animal Crossing at its purest form. Animal Crossing New Leaf kind of has just a different vibe to it. It's, in a lot of the ways it's the same, but in a lot of ways it's different. So the setting in New Horizons is you're, you know, you're on a desert island and you're building up this desert island. And because of that, it doesn't have things like Main Street in like Animal Crossing New Leaf has Main Street where you have all these buildings and you know, it feels like a little city. And as you play through the game, all these different shops open up, like you've got the shoe store, 
You've got the club that opens up. The museum will be in this area. The hair salon where you go and you can do hairdos, which in New Horizons, you just look in the mirror to do this and you do it all yourself in, in your home. But I liked the sense of community, I guess, um, in all the different characters that you would see on Main Street in Animal Crossing New Leaf. It just really made the game feel like its own little world. You have Tom Nook's little real estate company where you go to remodel your house and pick out little decorations for the outside of your house. And then in New Horizons, you know, they consolidated that to all take place in City Hall. There's the mayor's office in New Leaf where you go and talk to Isabel. And she was a new character in this. And now she's a character in Smash, which is just so crazy because she was this just new character when this game came out. And now she's like the icon of the series. And it's just so cool to see. Oh, there's the recycle shop where you've got the two uh, alpacas or llamas and and uh, you can have little flea markets there. You can sell your furniture. You can go in there and villagers will be selling their furniture. And speaking of the furniture, Animal Crossing New Horizons went for this really realistic look with the furniture, which, which I really like. Like if you zoom in on things, they're very like hyper detailed and they look almost realistic where the old Animal Crossing games and Animal Crossing New Horizons was kind of the peak of this. Everything still looked really cartoony and colorful and, you know, shapes were really exaggerated and, and stuff like that. And New Horizons went for this really, like, still cartoony, but like a realistic cartoony look. And I like it because it makes everything look like little dioramas and stuff. But at the same time, I feel like some of the character from things like the furniture and, and just the general setting and set pieces, I feel like some of that character was lost and things just look a little bit more sterile and boring a little bit in New Horizons. And another thing in New Leaf that I loved was going to the island and catching all of the rare beetles there that were like abundant and this was like the best way to make money. You could go there and catch all these beetles and just go back to your town, go to the, re the retail store, um, and just make a ton of money. Like, I feel like it was so easy to make money in this game. And then you could catch all these rare fish on the island, all these sharks and stuff, and then go back and make so much money. I, I in my original save file of this game, I had more money than I knew what to do with. And I feel like in uh, New Horizons, I, I find it more difficult to make money. But also just the vibe on the island, you've got this really chill music. And I remember I would always, so this is another like little story from when this game came out, but uh, the summer of 2012, um, a lot of my friends and I would go out fishing together during the day, and then we were all we would all play Animal Crossing, and we would all go home and hop on Animal Crossing and go fishing in the game and go to the island and and be catching sharks and stuff, and it was just like it was just such a nice way to unwind after like being outside all day catching fish in real life and then going to Animal Crossing and just grinding it out on the island, catching fish and beetles and making all this money and, and just listening to that music and, oh man, just, just the look of everything. It's just, oh, it just brings back so many memories. And, and I just remember hearing this island music and just staying up super late. <laughs> it was so, it was so good. And it just, th this this island music in Animal Crossing New Leaf is just synonymous with those, those teenage summer nights where you're just out all day with your friends and then up all night playing games. And it was just such a, such a special time, you know? And this game as a whole is just synonymous with that time for me. And yeah, it's, it, it's great. So does Animal Crossing New Leaf hold up today? Yes, absolutely. I think this game has a lot of pros when compared to New Horizons. I think there's a lot of things that this game did better than New Horizons. I love the look of this game more than New Horizons. I think it's, I don't know, it's just more colorful. And I just think, I don't know, I just think it looks better than New Horizons. Also, there were a lot more ways to get furniture and things for your house in this game. Oh, and there were also the fortune cookies which would get you like Nintendo themed items. I totally forgot about that. 
There were the fortune cookies that would get you Nintendo themed items. Like I remember in my original game, I have a basement that's just full of all of like the Nintendo items that I collected. Like there's Mario Karts down there and like pipes and, and Zelda themed stuff. And man, so this is another tangent, but so I'm currently living in Australia and all of my like childhood games are stored away back in America. So I don't have any of my childhood stuff with me right now. I'm planning on going back to America like in the next year so I'll, I'll be re I'll be reunited with it all again so that's another part of the reason why I had to start a new game for this video but my Animal Crossing New Leaf house in my original copy of the game is just so decked out. When when I go back to America, I'm going to have to make a whole a whole second video about Animal Crossing New Leaf because there I just want to show off that house. It was so cool. I had so much cool stuff in there. It was it was beautiful. But yeah, Animal Crossing New Leaf had the little Happy Home Society if you go up to the top of Main Street and you could go there and you could see other people's houses through Spot Pass. You'd go there and there'd be random people's houses and you could go up to any of the furniture you saw in those houses and you could just say, "Oh, I like this um fancy table that this that these people have and you could buy it and it would get mailed to you in the game like the next day and you could do this with anything like you could go and they could have like the rarest item in the game and you could buy it it might be expensive but you could buy it and it would get sent to you and there's nothing like this in new horizons and that always really bothered me um because i love that because i would go and see other people's houses and be like oh wow i really love the way they designed this room and i like oh i love these like three pieces of furniture and i could get them for myself but in new horizons they have the crafting which is cool but i feel like there's such a limit i feel like there's actually less furniture in new New Horizons and less things for you to make. Is that true? Am I wrong? It feels like there's a lot less stuff to buy for your island in New Horizons compared to this one on the 3DS compared to New Leaf. Speaking of kind of this thing where you can look at other people's houses and buy what furniture they have, there was this huge update released for Animal Crossing New Leaf. I think it was in, I want to say it was in 2015. Um, it was the Welcome Amiibo update, and that's actually the version of the game I'm playing right now, so it's already all installed on there for me. And what this added was the campsite. Uh, it added a bunch of other things, but the main thing it added was the campsite, which was this new area where villagers from past games would come and visit in their RVs. And you would go into their RVs and they would be decked out with all this cool furniture. And I, I think a lot of that furniture was like exclusive to these little RV villagers. And you could just go up to anything they had. They had some like cool thing that you wanted. You go up to them and you're like, hey, I want that. And you buy it and then you can have that thing. And, and I swear, like there's, there was like so much stuff packed into Animal Crossing New Leaf that just isn't there in New Horizons. It was a really cool idea, and it was a really great way to just get more stuff for your house. And that's that's something, I can't stress this enough, that's something that New Horizons is really, really lacking. Like, I would happily, just for the next Animal Crossing game, just completely get rid of crafting and just bring back more ways to buy stuff. Because I actually liked that more. It just felt like there was such a big variety of stuff and th and sets of items so that you could have different themed rooms and it was really cool and that is something that I do think is really uh, a big issue with New Horizons on the Switch. So while Animal Crossing New Horizons does have a lot of really nice quality of life improvements, like how much easier it is to customize your island and the whole expanded amount of features for customization and, and all that stuff, being able to put furniture outside and, and really being... That was the thing about New Horizons, it was more about customizing your own personal island. Moving forward with the Animal Crossing series, I want the next entry to take a page from Animal Crossing New Leaf. I want it to feel more like a city than a desert island. I want there to be a little main street again with all the little shops and buildings. And I want, I actually want that to be expanded upon moving forward with the Animal Crossing series. I want to see a more city-focused Animal Crossing game, like City Folk on the Wii, which is actually the one game in the series I haven't played. I, I should probably check that one out, because that the whole thing about that game was that it has a city. So I should, uh, I should probably look into that one, because it seems like, it seems like it's doing exactly what I want the future Animal Crossing games to do. But yeah, in future Animal Crossing games, I want to see more of a city vibe again. 
I want to see more buildings. I want to see the city vibe, but with the customization features that were added in New Horizons, and I think that would really make for the perfect Animal Crossing game. So to answer the big question, as if I haven't already, does Animal Crossing New Leaf for the 3DS hold up? Absolutely, yes it does. If anything, I do think it's a little bit better than New Horizons. This game definitely has its own legs to stand on. It is, it is its own thing. Definitely don't feel like New Horizons is the definitive best Animal Crossing game to play. I think all of the Animal Crossing games have their own unique aspects and kind of like vibes about them. So definitely don't pass any of them up if you are interested in going back and playing the old ones. Because I know for a lot of people, New Horizons was the first Animal Crossing game they've ever played. So if you did play New Horizons and are interested in seeing you know, kind of the roots of the rest of the series, definitely go back and play the older ones if you have the means to. And a great one to try is definitely the one we're talking about here today. A great game for the 3DS that I will continue going back to because it just is that special to me. And just a very nice, good, clean, pure, fun Animal Crossing experience that definitely should not be forgotten. So thank you guys for watching. If you like this kind of retrospective video that I'm doing here, definitely subscribe, stick around, because I have a lot more games that I want to look at, specifically for the 3DS and a lot of others as well. So thank you again for watching, take care, and I'll see you next time.